Hi everybody, welcome back to Majestic Collectibles. This is just a, a quick follow-up on the uh, light box. I'm still kind of playing around with it. Um, I don't know if you noticed in the first video I did, there's kind of some black lines on each side, uh, right here and right here. And I've been fiddling with the, uh, the sides a little bit. Just to reposition things. And that's helped. It hasn't totally eliminated them, though, which is um, okay, I guess. I They're a little bit of a distraction. And so it fits down here, but not up top. And this part is attached. So I can't. I can't move those in. So that might be as good as it gets. It's pretty sturdy though, uh, even with the top up. Uh, these are the lights, the LED lights, and they sent uh, this along, and that's a diffuser. I was getting a lot of glare, and that's a common problem on the uh, shiny packaging. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attach this, if I read the instructions right. And it should go, let me get this right now, should go, let me see, I think it goes this way. Look, oh, I got it. That is really good Velcro they used. I do have to give them props on that. Oh, I got it backwards. There, let's try this. And put that in there. And this should help eliminate some of that glare. Okay, nope, I did that wrong. The instructions have a lot of nice pictures on there, but they don't really give you a lot of details as to which way some things go or not. Um, so a little bit of trial and error there. Well, no, that doesn't work either, so it has to go on here then. All right. That was the wrong size, so there. Let's try it that way. Get that up there. And we'll get this working yet. Stick with me here. Okay, so that has to go. Get that square. Alright, and you can see all the the LEDs, the square LEDs around there. Okay, so that must drop down like that. Yep, it does. Still a little... This has a, a bow on that brace. And I think it's right there. There's a little kink. And I don't know if that was... Uh, the box was fine, it wasn't damaged in shipping, so I don't know, it just got kinked in the packing process or manufacturing. So there, that should, that should do that. And um, I've got the light box here and it's interesting, so when I turned these lights on, it looked like the lights in the room went off. And that was just the, the video camera compensating for the change in lighting. So all these room lights that are on now um, were on before. In the previous video, it just went black, so I'm sure it'll do it again. But I'm going to try this again. I'm going to turn the lights up on the box. And actually, I'm going to shut the video off here a second, and we'll recenter this and reposition it and get it square. And then I'll put something in, and we'll see what happens. And welcome back. I think I've got uh, things adjusted. I guess we'll... Uh, We'll find out soon enough here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn uh, turn the light box on, which means it'll be black in the surrounding. Um, even though my lights are on, you can see the shadow there from my back lights. Uh, that's what I'm going to try and take a picture of. And I'm just going to use my uh, cell phone. It's a Pixel XL3. It should, be, uh, should have a good enough camera. So here we go. I'm going to start with it all the way up. That's pretty intense light. I'll move this just a little bit to square it up. There we go. 
and you can see it's not it's it's not my camera my bubbles in the middle of the camera that that box does does lean it's not quite straight um, but I'm going to go ahead and put this in and I'm going to see what that looks like through the video camera okay that that looks clear there I've got my camera on and we'll see what happens this is not the best angle I'm trying to stay out of the video camera boy it's turning out okay I'll take that one and we'll see that's really slick vinyl this uh, the background color on the white so they're kind of slippery Whoops. takes just a sec for my camera to adjust to the light I'm going to bring the photos up and I don't know if you can no, can't really see it unfortunately uh, the picture is okay on the back one uh, the front one turned out fantastic I'm going to reshoot the back um, the card is curved and so there is a little bit of glare there I'm going to see if that will eliminate that just playing around it's good enough to go on the eBay store but we'll see here for the sake of academic study I guess you would say and I've got to wait oops my camera's glitching out on me ah there it goes and that was about the same so what I'm going to try, I'm going to try one more pick. What it said to do in the instructions is turn the lights down. So we'll turn it down a little bit. And I'll try it again. I'll hit, hit it with the camera one more time. Wait for it. There it adjusted. And let's go see what it looks like on the phone here. And actually that's not as good. That light was a little low, so it's it's kind of dulled out. Um, so I think you know going going full bright or close to it is the way to go. And uh, you know, look for this um, on eBay. Actually, it's probably gonna be on uh, my eBay store in the listings, Majestic Collectibles on eBay. So if you want to go see it, I'll use the pictures I just took now. And then I've got some more stuff to photograph, and uh, maybe I'll tape that, and I'll take a few more pics. And then you can go see them on eBay and see what you think and compare them to some of the other listings. But I think this is going to be really, really fantastic. I still don't like the black lines on the side. I've pulled them apart and fiddled with them, and I, I just cannot get it. the black lines on each side eliminated. So if I have a bigger piece, that's going to be a problem. And the solution may be just a, a bigger light box. Uh, before I finish, this is a, a newer or a newer N E E W E R. I found it on Amazon. Again, I paid with it for my own money, so there's no product endorsement or consideration here. Uh, it wasn't 80 bucks. I thought it was like 80, 85. It was about 112. So I apologize. I don't know what I uh, what I was thinking of I completely did not remember that right but it's about 112 bucks ship took about about a week to get to me um, with the shipping delays and that was fine didn't really bother me any and this is a 20 by 20 so 20 inches by 20 inches is the size um, and I think uh, you know I think once I get done fiddling with it and getting that diffuser set up and I'm gonna zoom in there we go, zoom in a little bit on that figure. I think it's going to work good. I think it's just going to take some practice trying to figure out, you know, how this thing all works. Uh, that type of thing. And I'll have some fun with it. I'll let you know. I'll uh, do some more picks. Alright, and here we go, guys. I got some more uh, action figures. I'm just going to shoot them quick on my phone. And then you can go on uh, our eBay store and see them. They should be should be up by the time you see this. If they're not there, they might have sold already. It's been that time of year. So it just takes a second for the camera to adjust to the light. 
Oh, and there it's super slippery again. Oh, give me a break. There it goes. And the card's curled on this one, so I always like to kind of lift it up and take a shot, show them. Whoops. Show everybody but that the card's got a curl to it. I'm going to reshoot that one. Boy, that is slippery. All right, and we'll try. Oh, got some GI Joe. I've sold quite a few of these already. These have been a real good seller. The Overkill, in particular, has been very popular. Cobra Commander's probably been next, and then Hawk and Stalker. Uh, not too much on those. All right, we'll see. Yep, that'll come out. That's one that has the UPC symbol cut out on it, so I always take a pic of that so people can see that. We'll get Cobra Commander here. I really like under this light how it's true colors. You really get the true colors of the object so far that I've seen. Oh, I may have to just lay it. You know what? I'm going to try the top flat. I have not done that yet. Oh, yeah. Perfect. And that one actually has the UPC symbol on it yet, so I'll take a pick of that because most of them have not. And I think I've just got uh, two more here. Got a General Hawk. That one's got a, oops, a really bent card on it. I don't know if it's showing up in the video camera. I might zoom in on it here because it's pretty bad. That's one, if you saw the previous video, it was, it was stored kind of wedged in the others. So I'm still trying to figure out how to make full use of this light box. This is, you were seeing some of the first pictures I've actually taken with it um, on this. So these will be kind of the, the test run. We'll see how they end up looking. Of course on eBay is the true test of that. I wonder if I set that up. I want to try and set that. Let's see if I can get that. Oh, not too bad. I just got to adjust it. Oh, there we go. There we go, just a little bit there. It wouldn't quite stand up at the right angle. And uh, this one you saw. So that was the one that I did uh, just a little while ago. And so that's it. Check it out online, MajesticCollectibles.com on eBay. And see how they look. Send me your comments. Watch your other unboxing videos. And uh, hey, if you got any pro tips on this uh, lightbox stuff, let me know. Thanks for watching.